everyone, Talara here, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Bannerlord. I am so excited to see you guys today, so much so that I am literally running in place right now. That's how excited I am to see you guys. <laughs> so it has been an exciting time for Talara and Clan Canuck. If you guys uh, watched the previous episodes, then you'll know that we had a few sieges. I got married. I had my first child. The family tree is growing. Um, and yeah, things things have been pretty exciting, I gotta say. So if we come here to our clan tab screen, we can check up on clan Canuck. Our clan tier is level 3, we're halfway between level 3 and level 4, which is really cool. Our family is really growing, no thanks to our brother, Nozon, who has five kids. Um, so that's that's where all uh, all my Christmas money is going. I've got my own kid as well now, of course. And then we do have a bunch of companions. I've formed a few caravans uh, as a source of revenue. And overall, things are going very well. I don't want to jinx anything because I know how quickly tides can jade you out here. I've already lost one castle. But so far, so good. And I suppose at this point, we do have our one castle, Vladiv Castle, that we will continue to guard. But we just are going to continue building a name for ourselves, participate in the never-ending wars that Sturgia is always involved in for some reason. Uh, hopefully win some battles, and yeah, just keep growing our notoriety and keep growing Clan Canuck. Speak of the devil, speaking of war, apparently we want to fight the Vlandians. Um, I do not know why. Oh, apparently the Vlandians will devour all of Calradia if we do not stop them. I was just about to say, I don't know why. They have more castles than us, more towns than us, more armies than us, and more strength than us. But, uh, maybe they're up against a whole lot of other people? Anyway, I'm, apparently the majority says yes, so we will say yes too. And I just want to go into the war menu and see if I can see who else has declared war with them. Vlandia. Can I see... Who else has declared war on Vlandia? Mm, I can't seem to see it. There may be a way, I'm just unaware. Um, but that's fine. My other question is, where are they? Oh, they're over on this side. Oh yeah, and they've got a- whoa! Oh my- oh my god, they're huge! Look how many towns they have compared to our little, like, peninsula. Yeah, okay. Let's- let's do this. Let's try to wear them down a bit. All right, looks like Ragnvad has set up outside Remtoil Castle here, so let's join up with him. And we'll get in on this siege. Looks like we're gonna way outnumber the amount of defenders. We have 915 troops, they only have 147 troops defending the castle, so hopefully this will be an easy battle for us. All right, look at how many soldiers we have! Let's charge that castle, everyone! It doesn't matter if I've been playing this game for 20 hours or 2 hours, honestly, these large-scale siege battles are still just as exciting every single time. This is... this is great. This time, though, I am gonna kinda linger towards the back lines, because y'all know what happens when I charge ahead. <laughs> I think it'll be safer to work on our management skills, and, uh, plus we should just outnumber them anyway. Alright, so far so good. I have managed my way half up to the castle. Reinforcements are trickling in, we're getting the ladders up, and we're actively breaking down the front gates, so... Once we've breached, I'll probably head up, just because, uh, I gotta be honest, being a middle manager is really boring, and I really want to get to the action. So let's see, once they get that front gate open, speak of the devil, it's open. Let's go in! Actually, I might be able to get a few shots off from right here. Let's do this first. Guys, am I holding you up? Why are you behind me? Alright, I'm climbing a ladder. In we go. Looks like my guys have already cleared the path up here and everything. Oh, you guys have already killed everyone up here. What the heck? Who- is there anybody still alive? Yeah, these guys are. Alright. Yeah. I think we won! Not quite, but I mean, I don't even see any enemies, so... 
I think we did pretty good here. Did we win? Again, not quite yet, but <laughs> I think we're almost there. There we go. All right, I jumped the gun. We won the battle. Woohoo! Grand Prince Roggenvod looks like he must have got hurt in that battle. He says, you arrived just in the nick of time, Talara. You have my deepest thanks. Well, I'm glad I could join, and I will take this standard of rage. Roggenvod thanks you for helping in the siege of Remtoil Castle. You were able to loot your fallen foes, but you do not participate in the sack of the castle as you are not part of the army that took it. I mean, I was, but okay. Anywho. All right. So we got, uh, we, we took that castle pretty easily. Oops. All right, so we took that castle pretty easily. Remtoil Castle is ours. And, uh, I don't know if they're going to form up to, uh, make another army or, or what's happening here. I guess we'll just wait outside for them to make up their mind and see what their next target is. All right, now we get to vote for the new owner of Remtoil Castle. Ooh, and look how much support I have. Oleg, Ragnvod, and Fafin are all going behind me. So I will go behind myself, and maybe we gonna get a new castle. Let's see. Yeah! Woohoo! Awesome! Ragnvod of the Sturgeons grants Remtoil Castle to Talara with his council evenly split. We got a new castle! Cool! The issue is it is extremely far away from our main lands. It's actually in the middle. Like, the closest thing is down that way, um, so it actually might end up being difficult to defend, but hey, I'll take it for right now. Alright, let's join up with Ragnvod again. And now we're heading to Gersagos Castle, which is just across the way there. Coming up on Gersagos Castle. Let's see how many defenders they have. Oh, 218. Again, very much outnumbered. All right, let's build our siege camps and see if we can't take ourselves another castle. Awesome, that's another victory for us. So far, so good in this war. We've got two castles. I've also got a ton of prisoners that I'm gonna need to get rid of some. I literally don't have the capacity for all these prisoners. <laughs> all right, another castle down. So, let's actually leave Ragnvod's army for a minute. I have too much loot and too many prisoners. Let's come over here and see if I can uh, ransom some of them off. And, oh, first we're going to vote for the new owner of the castle. Am I in the discussion? Oh my god, I'm majorly in the discussion again! I can't vote for myself because I don't have enough influence, but I might still win the vote anyway. Let's see. Yes! Oh my god, two castles in one day?! This is amazing! Wow! Hunt there. So, just outside my castle, I took two steps outside, going to ransom my prisoners, and we got attacked. So, it's our first battle for our territory. And hopefully we'll just hold it down and there won't be any issues. Stabbing as many archers as I can while I ride in a circle. Although I'm missing much too often. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Work on my aim. <laughs> this is actually quite a large sized party as well. Luckily a lot of them aren't mounted so I hope that'll give us an advantage here. You know what would give us an advantage is if I could actually hit some people. I'm good at running them over with my horse, so that's that's helpful. I think my strategy is to just run into a big group because there's so many people it's hard to miss. <laughs> I gotta hit someone if there's 10 targets. There we go, we're getting some hits in here. We'll just keep coming from the side like this. Hope I'm actually making a difference. Yep, I'm killing a few guys. Oh, but I died too. Ah, oh, shit. Samir, avenge your wife! Update, he didn't avenge his wife. He died just like she did. 
And we lost. See, you can never get too high in this game, because before long they bring you right back down to reality. Sure, I got a new castle. I also got defeated right outside of its gates. Uh, Ragnvod, can- you're literally right there. Can you come save me? Please? Oh, God bless. Okay. Yay! How many times has my father-in-law saved me at this point? <laughs> Too many to count. On the negative side, my new castle is now being besieged, but I have no one in my army because I was kidnapped, so, um... <sighs> Everything is awful. Okay, I ran back to Apoptria and recruited a few troops. Let's see if I can get back in time. Nope, never mind. Remtoy Castle is already taken, so that was short-lived. Remember that time I owned Remtoy Castle? Yeah, me neither. We did, however, take... Rote, uh, which I am up for discussion, but unfortunately I don't have as much support as Godon or Vildor, so I'll let them take this one. I don't even know what Godet is, so I'll be an honorable loser here. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go meet up with the armies, because it is dangerous for me to walk around here by myself. Alright, it looks like we're actually making good progress in this war. We lost Remtoil Castle again, but we still have my castle, Gersigo's Castle. And this is the city we just took, Rote. So we're moving deeper in. You can see Ragnvod's currently besieging Jalmaris, so I'm gonna go try to uh, meet up and give him a hand. Jalmaris is taken. He didn't even need me to lend a hand. All right. Yeah, no, this war is going very much in our favor. I love this for us. Oh, apparently everyone wants me to get Lagita, even though I did absolutely nothing to capture it. And you know what? I'm not going to argue. We have not actually gotten a city yet. We've only received castles, I say. We've only received castles. Uh, but having an actual city would be really cool. I can't actually vote for myself because I'm completely out of influence. Probably because I got kidnapped that one time. Uh, <laughs> so we will abstain, but let's see. Yes! Guys, this is a good day for Clan Canuck. This war has has been good to us. I love this. You know what a great question is? Where is Lagita? <laughs> that might be a good thing to know. I I have a city named Lagita and I don't actually know where it is. Let's see. Aha! There it is! Lagita! Again, it's like kind of right in the middle of enemy territory, so probably not ideal. But hey! A city is a city! And I think by owning Lagita, I also own this little town called Primasos and this town called Montos. Guys! This is so cool! We also just took- this is insane. I literally can't make this up. We took another town, and now everyone's voting for me to have this one too, Jalmaris. Oh my god, I didn't realize I was so popular! I got two cities in a castle in one day. Oh my god! See, marrying the Grand Prince's son totally had benefits. I... you can't say that it didn't. Look at all this goodwill I'm getting here. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> oh, and Legita's under siege. I knew that was gonna happen. Let's join back up with the army. Oh, and my castle's under siege, too. <laughs> yeah, see, I shouldn't have celebrated. I jinxed myself. But luckily, we're, we're headed to defend. Yeah, we lost Legita. Okay, so I owned that city for about two minutes. Uh, <laughs> it's fun while it lasted. Oh, and now my other settlement is uh, under siege as well. We're gonna see if we can get there in time to help them out, because I couldn't do it for the other one. Remember the days when I had a castle in two cities? Yeah, that might be over. <laughs> Next time, do not allow me to celebrate until I've held them and the war is over, okay? I'm not even gonna tell you guys. Yeah, we lost it. All right. Well, it was fun while it lasted. I lost so much influence for losing all of my settlements as well. Guys, you can't just give me stuff and then not help me defend it and then blame it on me for losing it. This this just doesn't seem fair. So, we're still in the middle of this war and for some reason we are voting for the new king of Sturgia. Yeah, wait, Ragnvod must have died? Oh no. 
I lost my connections. And everyone's voting for Olek. Does Olek like me? Yeah, we have 53 relation. Oh my god, I lost my princely dad-in-law connection. I'm so sad. All right, well, it looks like Olek has the overwhelming support, so I suppose he is going to be the new Grand Prince. Can I divorce my husband? That's not ideal, to lose your Grand Prince in the war. Maybe we should end this now. Although I'm sure Olek is happy about it. This is literally a never-ending war. Oh my god, we just voted for our new king. Now we're fighting out here in the plains. You can see their big army coming in from all the way over there. For some reason, these guys are riding backwards. So I don't know, are we retreating? What is the strategy here? Because I think it's quite dumb. Maybe we're hiding in the trees? Is that what we're doing? Okay, we were just backing up. And now we're, we're riding in. This has been the craziest day of my in-game life. I think it's been more than a day. The craziest week of my in-game life. I feel like I'm getting a lot of good hits in here, at least. Old my own. The forces are pretty evenly matched, so this is probably going to come down to right till the end. Which is not good, because I'm stuck and I can't move. Alright, there we go. Get moving again. The worst part is when your horse literally gets stuck and you can't move. It's, it's over for you then. You gotta stay in constant motion. Thank god I got some horse armor for my horse, because he has taken quite a few hits here. Things still look pretty even on the scoreboard, though. A few more hits. Yeah, that was a kill! Come on! We can do this! We can make a difference! Maybe. Oh yeah! Oh, I feel like I'm getting a lot of hits in. Am I inspiring the army with my heroic exploits? Because I'm inspiring myself! Oh, I inspired myself too hard and I died. Well, let's see if I inspired everyone enough while I was alive to uh, win this. It's looking good up on the scoreboard. As soon as I said that, the bars changed. I did everything I could! Come on, guys! Do it for me! Oh man, this is gonna come right down to the wire. I'm watching this at like 500 times the speed. <laughs> It's a little hard to see what's happening, so I just keep watching those bars up in the top. We yes! We won! My sacrifice was not in vain! Whew! That was a hell of a fight. Oh god. Just what we needed. Monchug has declared war on us. Kuzate is all the way on the other side of the map, and all of our forces are over on this side. Oh, this is not going to be good. We need to wrap this up. On the positive side, people want to give me another castle, so, you know, I'm not going to say no, sure. Well, things were going good. I had my castle over there, Remtoil Castle. And then, alas, another country attacked us. So, now I'm in prison, and the moral of this story is there's never any positives from war, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it is just all bad. I've been in prison for so long, I've forgotten what the outside world looks like. I hope someone's taking care of my baby. Where's my husband? <laughs> oh god, do we have a nanny? It appears my husband is alive and is staying at Omor, um, so that's, that's good. Uh, hopefully he has my baby, or, you know, someone does. Okay, after no joke, like, one month in prison, I finally managed to escape, and as you can see, I am retreating very far into Sturgeon territory. At this point, it's been, like, one year since we started war, and at that point, obviously, our target was different than who it is now. But it has just been constant war for a whole year. At that- at- points during the campaign, I held two castles, I held two cities, um, and I returned home with absolutely nothing to show for it. If anything, we got a net negative from all this fighting because my influence has dropped way down. And so, 
Oh, look, actually, we might have a net positive. A courier with a peace offer from Batania. They're actually going to pay us for peace. So I guess that's a net positive in all this. Honestly, I think they were totally winning the war, though. Look how many prisoners they had. Look how many casualties they inflicted. I'm just glad it's over so we can be at peace and kind of lick our wounds a little bit. This was an absolute roller coaster of uh, of an episode here, folks. Uh, truly, we didn't really make any gains. Um, if you look at the map, pretty much everybody has the exact same territory as we did before. So, um, yeah, ending on kind of a bleak note, but I guess it goes to show there is truly no winning when it comes to war. Um, we end today with a new clan prince, which kind of sucks because we lost that uh, connection through marriage that we formed. But luckily, we still do hold our good old Vladiv castle, and uh, we're going to hang on there, lick our wounds, and just, I'm done with war for a little bit. <laughs> so thanks everyone so much for watching today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed all the fighting, and I will see you guys back here again real soon for another episode of Bannerlord.